Now, may I call upon Brother Jamal Richards from London, United Kingdom to present the translation of the Kirat, after which, inshallah, we'll have Brother Farik present his song. Brother Jamal Richards. He will present before us the translation of the Quran just read before us, recited before us by Sheikh Budai. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Blessed is he whose hand is dominion and he is over all things competent. He who created death and life to test you as to which of you is best indeed. And he is the exalted in might and forgiving. And who created seven heavens in layers you do not see in the creation of the most merciful any inconsistency. So return your vision to the sky. Do you see any breaks? Then return your vision twice again. Your vision will return to you humbled while it is fatigued. And we have certainly beautified the nearest heaven with lamps, i.e. stars and have made from them what is thrown at the devils and they have prepared for them the punishment of the blaze and for those who disbelieved in their Lord is the punishment of hell and wretched is the dis dis destination when they are thrown into it they hear from it a dreadful inhaling while it boils up it almost bursts with rage every time a company is thrown into it. Its keepers ask them, Did there not come to you a warner? They will say, Yes, a warner had come to us, but we denied and said, Allah has not sent down anything. You are not but in great error. And they will say, If only we had been listening or reasoning, we would not be among the companions of the blaze and they will admit their sin so it is alienation for the companions of the blaze indeed those who fear their Lord unseen will have forgiveness and great reward and conceal your speech or publicize it indeed he is knowing of that within the breasts does he who created not know while he is the subtle the acquainted it is he who made the earth tame for you, so walk among its slopes and eat of his provision, and to him is the resurrection. Do you feel secure that he who holds authority in the heaven would not cause the earth to swallow you and suddenly it would sway? Or do you feel secure that he who holds authority in the heaven would not send against you a storm of stones? Then you would know how severe was my warning. And already had those before them denied, and how terrible was my reproach. Do they not see the birds above them with wings outspread and sometimes folded in? None holds them aloft except the most merciful. Indeed, he is of all things seen. Or who is it that could be an army for you? to aid you other than the most merciful. The disbelievers are not but in delusion. Or who is it that could provide for you if he withheld his provision? But they have persisted in insolence and aversion. Then is one who walks fallen on his face better guided 
or one who walks erect on a straight path. Say, it is he who has produced you and made for you hearing and vision and hearts, i.e. intellect. Little are you grateful. Say, it is he who has multiplied you throughout the earth and to him you will be gathered. And they say, when is this promise if you should be truthful? Say, the knowledge is only with Allah and I am only a clear warner. But when they see it approaching, the faces of those who disbelieve will be distressed and it will be said, this is that for which you used to call. Say, O Muhammad, have you considered whether Allah should cause my death and those with me or have mercy upon us who can protect the disbelievers from a painful punishment? Say, he is the most merciful. We have believed in him and upon him we have relied and you will come to know who it is that is in clear error. Say, have you considered if your water was to become sunken into the earth, then who could bring you flowing water? Jazakallah, uh, brother Jamal. Before we start our formal program of the day, we have Brother Farik just coming up. May I mention tomorrow also at the same time, we would be having a special program on the topic. The Dr. Zakir Naik would be addressing this inshallah. It would be on what is the purpose of our life. And that would be followed by question and answer session. Today, we have an exclusive session, only question and answers being handled by Dr. Zakir Naik.